Namaskar everyone. I welcome you all to the Siksha Aram Vyakhyan. On behalf of Sri Dilip Rath, Chairman Irma, the Governing Board of Irma, my faculty colleagues and entire Irma community, I welcome our esteemed speakers, Sri Gautam Adani and Srimati Rajashri Birla. We are grateful and immensely fortunate that these two eminent personalities have graced us with their presence today. Thank you very much. The Siksha Aram Vyakhyan is the commencement address for the incoming 41st batch of IRMA's flagship postgraduate diploma in management, in bracket rural management, uh, called PGDM bracket rural management RM. Uh, the spirit of serving the society and a growing need for entrepreneurship are well integrated into the curriculum of the PGDM RM course at IRMA. The addresses by our guest today will inspire the students to take up the challenges of the society as professional managers, responsible development leaders and social entrepreneurs. I'm honored to introduce Srimati Rajashri Birla. She's an exemplar in the area of community initiatives and rural development. Srimati Birla spearheads the Aditya Birla Center for Community Initiatives and Rural Development, the group's apex body responsible for developmental projects. She oversees the group's social and welfare-driven work across the group. The footprint of the center's work straddles over 7,000 villages, reaching out to 9 million people. The Aditya Birla group runs 20 hospitals and 5,000 medical camps, treating over a million patients. Its 56 schools span India impart quality education to over 46,500 children. Both its hospitals as well as schools are not for profit institutions. Srimati Birla is the chairperson of the FECI, Aditya Birla CSR Center for Excellence, Habitat for Humanity, India and is on the board of the Asia Pacific Committee as well as Habitat's Global Committee. She's a chairperson of FICA's first ever expert committee on CSR. She serves on the board of directors, CSR committee of State Bank of India. She's on the board of BAIF, Developmental Research Foundation, Pune, and Population First, Mumbai, and also on the advisory board of the Hope Fund under the ages of Natch Foundation. She serves on the Akhil Bharata Varshya Maheshwari Education Trust in Indore. As a patron of arts and culture, she heads the Sangeet Kala Kendra, a center for performing arts as its president. In recognition of her exemplary work, leading national and international organizations have showered accolades upon her. Among those, the most outstanding one has been of the Government of India, which bestowed the Padma Bhushan Award in 2011 on Srimati Rajeshri Birla in the area of social work. In 2010, she was a recipient of the Global Golden Peacock Award for CSR. She received it at the hands of Dr. Ola Ulsten, the former Prime Minister of Sweden in Portugal. In recognition of Srimati Birla's unrelenting endeavors towards polio eradication in 2008, she was also honored with the much coveted Polio Eradication Champion Award at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. In addition to the above, she has received more than 25 prestigious national and international awards until 2019. And we are sure many more are going to be offered to her in the next many, many years to come. Srimati Rajeshri Birla is a director on the board of all the major Aditya Birla group of companies, visually the Grasim, Hindalco, and Ultratech Cement Limited. Additionally, Srimati Birla serves as director on the board of the Aditya Birla group's international companies spanning Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, and Egypt. Born in Bikanir and raised in Madurai, Shimati Billa studied arts, graduating from the famous Loretto College at Calcutta. 
Shrimati Birla lives in Mumbai with her illustrious son, Shri Kumar Manglam Birlachi, and his wife, Shrimati Nirja Birlachi, and grandchildren. Let us now watch a video that beautifully highlights the exemplary work being done in the area of education, health, and livelihoods by the Aditya Birla Group. On behalf of our chairman, Sri Dilip Rajji, and the members of the Board of Governors of IRMA, my faculty colleagues, and all the IRMA community members, I now invite Srimati Rajeshri Birlaji to deliver the Siksha Aramb Vikyan. Sri Dilip Raj, Professor Hitesh Bhatt, Professor Sinha, distinguished faculty, and the IRMA class of 2020, guests, ladies, and gentlemen. I'm indeed delighted to virtually reach out to all of you at IRMA to deliver the Siksha Aram Bakhyan, the commencement speech to this very privileged class of 2020. Getting admission in IRMA is a turning point in one's life. Here, lifelong learning and lifelong friends will be made. Midnight oil will be burnt and often you will enjoy the verdant environs. For me as well, this is a very special day. Irma and B at the Aditya Birla group share the same vision. The vision and the courage to dare and change the ecosystem the commitment to create a more equal society, a more and just and kind place through serving the underserved segments in our society. Through the Aditya Billa Center for Community Initiatives and Rural Development, we are engaged in 7,000 villages, touching 9 million lives through projects in healthcare, education, sustainable livelihood, infrastructure development, and social reform. In a sense, with our goals being common, we share a symbiotic relationship with Irma. So I'm very glad to be speaking with all of you. Think Irma and automatically Dr. Vergis Kurian comes to the fore. Dr. Kurian was an exemplar in many ways. My husband, Aditya Ji, was an ardent admirer of Dr. Kurian, along with my son, Kumar Manglam, and I. We regard Dr. Kurian 
among the greatest innovators and a transformative leader in dairy farming. He made a distinct mark on the global map, achieving many epilogues for our country. Both Irma and Amul are Dr. Kurian's creation. In setting up Irma, Dr. Kurian's major thought was centered on rural India. I am told that Dr. Kurian felt that would come a time when India's villages would be humming with entrepreneurial activities and that would call for a different breed of professional managers. This was pre-science of Dr. Kurian. Both Irma and Amul have stood the test of time. Over these four decades, Irma was attained the stature on an Ivy League college, one of its kind in Asia. Amul is the beloved brand of India, a household name. Irma's contribution to society and changing the rural landscape has been indeed seminal. Its vision of spawning values-driven professionals who would work tirelessly to contribute significantly to the betterment of the underserved segments is laudable. Its strategy of doing so through bringing about sustainable, ecologically friendly, and equitable growth is remarkable. Over these decades, Irma has and continues to walk the talk. I asked myself, what should I say in this commencement speech at a time when mankind is torn by his global pandemic, COVID-19, has transformed business and our lives. Waves of disruption have hit the horizon and people had, had to reset their lives. Institutions in every field are re-engineering themselves. You can't forecast anything because you don't have a fix on the metrics. Today is the new normal and we have to all move on. So let me take this opportunity to share some of my thoughts, taking cues from Irma's vision. I have five specific pointers for all of you. First, remember joining Irma signals a new journey in your life. I believe every journey begins with deciding the destination. Completing this post-grad course is a given. I would love you all to go into a reflective pause. Ask yourself, what is your purpose? Where would you like to be headed? Think excellence from day one itself. This way, you are tuned to taking on responsibility. Build the excitement and passion relating to your role on continuing to put India's villages even more pronouncedly on the development trajectory. As we do in rural projects, chalk out your journey. Set the baseline. Mark the milestones. Mark your progress. In your sessions here, Irma will build you uniquely to face the ground realities. Irma, as I understand, gives an excellent exposure to India's hinterland or the choice to work with a developed agency. When you make a choice, Choose that area which grabs you most in your month-long stay in the village or with a development agency. My second pointer advocates curiosity. So when you enter Irma physically and hopefully sooner than later, when you are setting a room up, ensure that you have a closet of curiosities and every morning you must open this closet. It entails asking why and why not inside the classroom and beyond. It means knowing your purpose. The world of knowledge and the spirit of scientific inquiry has been driven by a quest of, for answers and a sense of purpose. Right now, Newton, Galileo, the Wright brothers, Stephen Hawkins, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, 
and I humbly add my husband Aditi Ji, who put India on the world map and all started with a question why. This spirit of curiosity courses through the veins of my son, Kumar Mangalam too. When you go on this mode, it also nudges you to remain relevant, to continue to learn and unlearn as you attune yourself to the changing environment. New technologies, automation, and artificial intelligence are all a product of curiosity. The scope for asking why is enormous. When you let go of the chance to ask a serious question, you let go of an opportunity to create a new world or a new way of life. I recount George Bernard Shaw's quote, a reasonable man adapts himself to the world. An unreasonable man tries to adapt the world to himself. So all progress in the world depends on the unreasonable man. So keep the spirit of questioning, always alive at the Irma campus and beyond. Thirdly, the grit to persevere, to think anew, think inclusion, think social justice are important factors. Overcoming the fear of failure is as important. As James Joyce, the Irish novelist said, and I quote, mistakes are the portals of discovery. Generate positive emotional energy to do things and to get things done. You have to run a race against yourself, says Kumar Mangan. As long as you put in your best, that is all that matters. These qualities will enable you effectively leverage opportunities and handle challenges as well at every step in the journey of life. Fourthly, above all, build a mode of non-negotiables. I'm alluding to values. Our group is defined by its values, which have percolated generationally. My grandfather-in-law, Sri Ghansyam Raji Birla, who was very close to Gansi Ji, built a family business around patriotism, self-reliance, which translates into the Atmanirbhar Bharat, propounded by our Honorable Prime Minister, and Gandhiji's concept of trusteeship. Consequently, the philosophy of giving and caring and service to society is embedded in our group's ethos. My husband Aditi Ji was and my son Kumar Mangalam is an evangelist of excellence and alchemist. Values such as integrity, passion, commitment and seamlessness define our character and personality. Our values are like the North Star. I believe values must be the guidepost in everyone's life. When you let values drive you, you learn to value yourself. Moving on to my fifth and final point is to think beyond yourself. This is very much in line with Irma's philosophy of making a difference to those less privileged. So it is very important that by virtue of your fortunate circumstances, you think beyond yourself. You must move beyond your personal zone and extend a helping hand. This is most needed in our country, where so many people are still struggling for survival. It behoves upon each one of you to work towards making a difference for bettering lives. Begin in small ways and then move on to bigger dreams. That is a shared responsibility. No one is better positioned than you to make the difference. As Gandhiji said, you must be the change that you want to see. I remember Mother Teresa also. She said, and I quote, In this life, we cannot do great things. We can all do small things with great love. Thank you. God bless. Uh, thank you very much, madam. Uh, it was an excellent speech that you made, ma'am. And you have inspired the incoming batch as well as the batch, which is a senior one today. 
and I'm sure a number of alumni watching you today are also inspired. So we sincerely thank you for having come to us, ma'am. We are blessed to have you amongst us today and witness you speak. It was enlightening. It was very stimulating. And we are grateful that you decided to spend your precious time today in sharing your wisdom with young minds that are about to embark on a journey of knowledge. You rightly mentioned, ma'am, suggesting them to have, and this is true for all of us, ma'am, having curiosity, understanding whys and why nots of things, trying to understand them, adapting to new technologies, trying to become that unreasonable man like Dr. Varghese Kurian was, serving society, seeking social justice, overcoming fear, being honest person with integrity and generosity. I think these are the values which will help everyone in the society to perform better. But all the same, my young friends from PRM 41 batch would I think carry this message for a very, very long time, ma'am. Before I thank you further on behalf of our chairman, Shri Dilip Rajji and the Board of Governors, ma'am, I, I am speaking out, the script, out of the script right now because you mentioned the word excellence. I, I, I would like to let you know, ma'am, that starting from 2010, the graduates of the batch 31 until 39, that is 10 batches have graduated. And uh, there must be more than 1,500 graduates in that, ma'am, out of a total of 3,500 so far. Everyone carries a message with him or her which was very dear to Sri Aditya Ji, Aditya Birla sir. Choti choti baaton se purnata aati hai, aur purnata choti baat nahi hai. Small, small things bring completeness, and completeness is not small, ma'am. For many of us, it's a mantra in our lives, ma'am. On behalf of Sri Dilip Rajshi, our chairman, the governing board of Irma, my faculty colleagues and the entire Irma community, ma'am, I thank you very much for delivering the Siksha Aram Vyakhyan today. Very kind of you, ma'am. I also thank the people who joined us virtually today. I wish you all a very, very good day.